So we enjoyed having the chance to meet with you individually, with your families, had a strong sense from that time that within you is a profound sense of what discipleship means and a commitment towards being one yourselves. Also felt the sense that within our group is a wide range of gifts and talents, and you realize that you can use those for the betterment of others in this world. So we pray that you keep all of the goals that you have set in this process before your eyes, so this year of preparation to receive the sacrament of confirmation may be meaningful for you, so that when we celebrate the rite with the bishop, that you will feel that this is a significant personal commitment of faith in your lives. So in that hope today, we ask you at, at, at your homes that we will give you a formal blessing of initiation into this process of confirmation called the rite of enrollment. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear candidates, by baptism, Christ Jesus opened for you the way of the gospel that leads to eternal life. Now, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you desire to continue your journey of faith. And so I ask you to respond, I will, to each of these petitions. Will you faithfully participate in the period of formation which you now enter? Will you listen to the gospel proclamation of Jesus with a genuine openness of mind and heart? Will you join with your sponsor and parents in, sh in a shared journey of faith and an honest search for truth? Now I address the parents and sponsors. Please respond, we will. Will you demonstrate the love and care of our entire community of faith for the candidates as you walk with them on their journey of preparation? Will you freely share with your candidate the fruits of your own journey of faith, its joys and difficulties, its gifts and challenges? Will you faithfully represent the Catholic Church, its teachings, practices, and values as you guide your candidate during his or her process of preparation? And now I invite you to stand and face one another as we make the sign of the cross on the following uh, symbols. If you as, have expressed your desire to share more deeply in the life of the Catholic Church, and we now ask your parents and sponsors to mark you with the sign of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the cross on your forehead as a reminder of your baptism into Christ's saving death and resurrection. Receive the cross on your ears that you may hear the voice of the Lord. Receive the sign of the cross on your eyes, that you may see the glory of God. Receive the sign of the cross on your lips, that you may respond to the word of God. Receive the sign of the cross on your hearts, that Christ may dwell there by faith. Receive the sign of the cross on your hands, that Christ may be known in the work which you do. Receive the sign of the cross on your feet, that you may walk in the way of Christ. And now I sign you with the sign of eternal life in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray for you. Almighty God, by the cross and resurrection of your Son, you have given life to your people. Your servants have received the sign of the cross. Make them living proof of its saving power and help them to persevere in the footsteps of Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. When our little ritual is ended, let us be at peace.